Chadwick Joe Technics, uh, we're com committed to the health, safety and well-being of our staff and also those that we come in contact with. Um, the COVID-19 has presented a number of challenges for our business um, and none that fortunately for us we haven't been able to overcome to this point. The day normally starts now with the guys arriving at work. Um, we make sure that we've got a pretty rigorous hygiene um, process at the start of the day. We've expanded our facilities, we've uh, rented new facilities to really ensure that we uh, maintain those physical distancing. Um, we, we've separated the laboratory into different zones. Um, we've got uh, our specialist testing team in one zone, um, compaction team in another zone. We've done that at each of our facilities and we also ensure that people working at different facilities uh, don't travel or, or visit uh, the other facilities. So we're really quite resilient. Uh, we've got six accredited laboratories around Victoria at the moment uh, and that's given us great capacity to ensure that we've got teams isolated from each other. In terms of what's happening in the field, um, it's been an area where we've had significant impact. Historically, we'd often have two people go to site in a single cab vehicle. Um, we can't do that now, so we either have to deploy two vehicles or you know, we do, and we are fortunate to have a fleet of dual cab vehicles where we can, from time to time, send two people to site. Um, obviously, obviously, one person in the front, one person in the rear, um, diagonally uh, sitting away from the driver. Um, on site, we found that our clients have been really adaptable, they're quite agile, um, and that means that there's been a great level of communication with our teams prior to arriving to site as to what the testing process will be. So there's very little face-to-face -face contact uh, on projects now. Testing is, or investigations are organised uh, either by two-way radio or phone. Um, test areas are normally well prepared when we arrive to site. Um, and so the, the, the interactions with the clients are almost non-existent from a face-to-face -face perspective now. What we've seen to date is a really cooperative approach. Uh, the clients have been quite fastidious in ensuring uh, that the measures in place from government are adhered to. So we're, we're seeing um, a, a really strong cooperation and, and, and clear and defined processes as to how we do the work, how we visit the sites, how we exit the sites, uh, how we engage with our clients. Um, it's been a very collaborative approach. On some of the major construction projects, we've seen them broken into different sections. Uh, we have um, clearly defined areas to access the site. We have uh, our vehicles or our staff are, are accredited, usually by a sticker on the vehicle or on their hard hats to say that they're authorised to go onto a particular zone. Um, if they can go onto one zone, they can't go onto another zone. That, uh, presents some significant challenges in terms of how we resource projects. So it does affect our efficiencies. Um, but again, it comes back to, to communication and being prepared for what is expected to be needed on site. In summary, I think we need to pay attention to the little things. Wash your hands, social distancing, be kind to your clients, be kind to your staff, be kind to the people you work with. Um, if we look after all the little things, the big things appear to be looking after themselves.